Okay. <clears throat> Many people know that I do music, but um, I'm also a graphic designer by trade. So all around artists. So today I'm working on cover art for a single I had the pleasure of putting out uh, with Bojack. Did the remix on this. And uh, today I'm getting it ready to, got the CD cover here or the uh, image cover for the item that's for sale online. I'm gonna resize it in a widescreen format for uh, audio video, basically the video that you see, or the types of videos that you see, I should say, on YouTube where the song plays, and it's not visuals, but more so just the elements uh, of the cover. So it's a still shot of the cover, and that is shown while the video is playing on YouTube. So in this particular case, I'm just modifying the CD graphics to fit that 16.9 ratio. And that will include just some minor tailoring of the items here, just expanding some elements, moving other elements around. You know, such as enlarging the parental advisory so that it plays better and shows up on the screen better. Doing some resizing on some of the elements. Nothing fancy, just some minor things that I do to give it the same composite look. So when you listen to the music, you'll get the same feel as if you were playing it through your music player on your phone, whether that be Spotify, whether that be Apple Music or Google Play or whatever the format is that you use. Taking a few elements here. Moving some of the items around. Such as uh, the logo element here. Doing some expansion on its space. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go and move this around. Take out uh, some other things here. Find some of the files, the raw files. Searching for a particular file here that I need to make some changes to. in Photoshop. Let's see. So I want to take this element. And use a background eraser. Get rid of those elements there. isolated elements there. And I'm gonna save it transparent to put it back within the image that I'm working with. Element that 
I just made changes to. Two elements here. I'm gonna get rid of this composite or move it over there just for a sec. And the new composite minus the background there. So you see it's there to blend in with the background so it's transparency as opposed to the black behind the white. the logo so basically I'm enhancing the logo with inside the existing font logo so it plays better off of the background going in for the finer bits Locking these objects together so when I expand these, these bow 